of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Here we are, Mr. Randall. Not a bad building for a police station. No. Here you are, driver. Oh, thank you, sir. Coming, Mr. Randall? Of course. Well, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this job. Certainly hate to have to spend half my time in town with the police just because a couple of men with a circus get into trouble. Or run away from it. Uh, you're right this time, Jason. Well, here we go. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. I'm Sam Randall of Randall Brothers Circus. I phoned Captain Reed that I'd be in this morning. Oh, yes, sir. He's expecting you right this way, please. Good. Come along, Jason. Well, it's certainly nice not to be kept waiting. I thought we'd never get through all that red tape at the hospital this morning. I wouldn't have minded that if we'd accomplished anything. But with Decker still unconscious, it means we'll have to go through the whole thing again tomorrow. At least we've identified him. Uh, not so easy to do with all those bandages on his face at that. Poor devil. He's certainly badly cut up. It's a wonder he's alive at all. They say the train is usually going about 60 miles an hour in that run. Now just down this corridor, gentlemen. His clothes certainly a mess. Torn and bloody and rolled in cinders. Well, lucky for him that hand car came along so soon. He'd never have lived to... To land it in jail? Yeah. Now, here we are, Mr. Randall. Uh, Captain Reed, uh, Mr. Randall to see you. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Randall. Glad to see you. Yeah. This is Jason, Captain, the star of our show. I'm looking forward to your act. Well, thank you. Sit down and make yourselves comfortable. All right, Riley. Now then, you've been to the hospital? Yes, just before coming here. It's Decker, all right. Good. That's one of them located. Mm, any developments yet on Lorenz? I'm sorry to say no, not a glimpse of him. Any danger of his escaping altogether? Well, there's always a chance. However, we're getting excellent cooperation all along the line. The reports are coming in regularly, and I firmly believe we'll catch up with Lorenz. Do the publicity pictures help much in tracking him down? Of course, some. But there are so many tricks in changing the general appearance that just a picture is more often misleading than helpful. Mm, he doesn't uh, fit into any of your rogues gallery? Of course, we haven't any fingerprints to check, but he looks like a man that got into trouble on the West Coast several years ago. That man got away. Uh, they've never caught up with him? Not that I know of. At the time, he was wanted for a couple of bank robberies. The police thought he resembled an ex-convict by the name of Pietro Lenzo. Mm, so he'd served time. About, for about five years. Mm, I can see you've been doing quite a lot of work in this case, Captain. We surely have. What a job. Checking with other states, looking up old records. It's tedious, and... but it's necessary. Tracking down criminals is a man-sized job these days. And especially in this country, where you can go from state to state without any checking up processes. Yeah, and I, I think I've got my hands full taking care of one circus. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine you do have your hands full, Randall. Don't let him fool you, Captain. He's got that circus so well organized that it would run without him. I know that. I've had dealings with Sam Randall for years. Even when circuses were in disrepute, Randall used to keep his people in order. Well, thank you, Captain. I used to try hard enough. It wasn't easy. I know. Some towns wouldn't even allow circuses to play on account of the trouble they usually caused with the townspeople. One thing I will say is when I once got into town and played an engagement, they always let me come back. He must have had quite a reputation in those days, Mr. Randall. He did. <laughs> Randall's circus was known from coast to coast. It wasn't so big as it is today, but it always offered the finest talent and a nice assortment of animals. Yeah, those were the good old days, but they were fighting days. Fighting? Yeah, we had to fight with the authorities to let us play. We had to fight off all the hangers-on that were used to following any circus or carnival that passed through the towns. 
Then we had to keep from letting the town rowdies fight us. They were the worst. <laughs> a circus in town meant just one thing to all the bums and beggars and good-for-nothings. An opportunity to see the show for nothing, eh? If they could get by with it. And a chance for a fight if anyone tried to stop them. <laughs> ah, what a life. And I'm glad that's all over with. Nowadays, we fill our tents with children and mothers and nurses. As for the fathers, they're our best customers. <laughs> if the rest of the men are anything like me, they just never have had enough circus, even when they were boys. I'm sorry, Mr. Randall, but it's getting late. Oh, I should say it is. I tell you, Captain, when I start harking back to the old days, I never know when to stop. Come over and catch our show. I hear a couple of passes. Thank you, sir. I certainly will. And drop by my office afterwards, and we can have plenty of time to hash over the old days. I'll do that. <laughs> and now about this Lorenz. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot why I came. Uh, you'll let me know immediately if any developments, won't you? The slightest bit of news, and you'll be informed. Now, about Decker, uh, what's the procedure there? I take it he's too badly hurt to be moved yet. Well, the doctor says it'll mean death to move him for some time. In that case, we leave him there until they say he can be moved to the hospital in the jail. Mm, he uh, hasn't regained consciousness yet. Doctor thinks he'll be conscious by morning, so I'm going back again tomorrow. Good. And in the meantime, you'll hear from me if anything comes up. Well, thank you, Captain. Well, goodbye, and... Don't forget to come and see our show. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Goodbye, gentlemen. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. Captain. Well, he's a pleasant fellow, isn't he? Yes, and very competent. I'm willing to bet Captain Reed will get Lorenz, and soon, too. <laughs> Saw Decker, Jason. Just for a minute. How'd he look? Oh, you couldn't see much of him. All bandages. How oh, awful. Imagine falling off a train right on the tracks. I don't see how he's still alive. Well, the doctor can't understand it either. They had to shave off his beard. They did. And his whole head was pretty badly messed up. And that was the only way they could treat the wounds. Gee, and there's no sign of Lorenz at all, mm -hmm. huh? Not one. I wish Bumps was through. I know he'll want to hear all about everything. You know, he and I kind of liked Decker. Yeah, I know you did. As a matter of fact, I'm mighty surprised he should be teamed up with a man like Lorenz. Oh, my goodness, look who's here. Hello, you. Oh, you're through already, huh? Gee, you needn't make so much noise about it, Rags. Where's Bumps? Where's that partner of yours, huh? Well, here I am. Oh, what a house. I tell you, it's a pleasure to play before a crowd like that. Well, they're certainly jammed in there this afternoon. Mostly kids, too, aren't they? Uh, kids make the best audience. I like matinees, especially if they're packed in like today. <laughs> what you so excited about, Ray? <laughs> well, didn't he tell you? He's certainly trying hard enough to. Well, it looks to me, Jerry, as if you can't understand Rags very well. Oh, I can, too. Oh, oh don't <laughs> let him kid you, Jerry. <laughs> didn't you see what he did in the walk around just now? No, I, I guess I was talking to Jason. Well, you sure have missed it. He jumped up and pretended to bite me in the seat of the pants. <laughs> and he held on for dear life. Oh, he did. He <laughs> sure did. Oh, and he... I kept pretending to brush him off. Well, we must have run halfway up one side with him hanging on by his teeth. Why, well, Rags, you're <laughs> <laughs> no, That's not all. When I got him off, he ran away from me. I chased after him as if my life depended on it. And he caught up with that frozen back that carries the gilded lady. Yeah, I know. And Rags jumped clean over her. Over the gilded lady? Right across her oh, lap. and slid her almost to death. <laughs> it's a wonder she didn't fall off. <laughs> well, she nearly did. But the crowd roared. Oh, didn't you hear him? Seems to me I did kind of notice it, but... Jason was telling me about Decker and... How is he, Jason? Well, he can't tell yet. He was still unconscious this morning. Bumps. Uh, yes, dear. You know, I, I wish we could see Decker. Well, I guess we can all right, it, but... It must be awful to have such a terrible accident and then come to and not find any friends or anything around. Well, I guess you're right at that, Jerry. I know it's awful is taking all the money and hitting Bennett on the head. And trying to put the blame on me. I know, but, but still, I... Oh, I'd just like to see him. Well, if you feel that way about it, Jerry, I, I think maybe we'd better see him. Uh, could we go now before dinner? Well, well sure, Jerry. I guess we can make it if we hurry. I'll change in a jiffy and we'll take the trolley and get right down there. Gee, you will. Thanks, Bump. Well, seeing as I've been in town all morning, I think I'll head for a nice walk before dinner. See you later. Yeah, and thanks for telling me about things. And don't be late for dinner, Jerry. <laughs> don't you be late. Bye. Gee, Bump, you're swell to take me. Oh, that's all right. I'd kind of like to see him myself. Gee, everything's so quiet and quiet here. It has to be. You see, we take care of sick people. And they must never be upset if we can help it. And, of course, if everything is white, it means things have to be kept clean. Uh, am I right, nurse? <laughs> That's it. 
Uh, here we are. This is his room. Now, be quiet. Can't we talk? Yes, but not loud. I thought you said he's still unconscious. Well, he is. But he may come out of it any minute, or it may take a day or so. When he begins to regain consciousness, everything must be quiet. So he won't get excited and get worse, huh? Exactly. Oh, the poor devil. See, you can't recognize him with all those bandages on and, and no beard. Oh, must have been a terrific shock to his nervous system. Oh, it'll take him a long time to get completely over it, if he ever does. Oh, uh, Miss Ellison. Yes, Doctor. You ready to change the bandages? Yes. These uh, people? Who, uh, we're friends of the injured man, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you'll have to excuse me while I... Gee, Doctor, couldn't we please watch? We'll be quiet. Well, Oh, I... please, we'll be good. Now, maybe it's against the rules. You, you, you shouldn't ask. No. It's all right if the boy wants to. The patient is still unconscious. It won't upset him. Gee, thanks. This is like watching an operation, isn't it? A little. <laughs> Not quite so strenuous. Oh, here, nurse. If you'll help me with these bandages. Yes, Doctor. Good. I'll cut it here. Why, don't they work fast, Bumps? Yeah, they don't waste the movement. Oh, poor man. Look how he's bruised and cut up. Oh, Bob. Well, you want to go out, son? No, I'll, I'll watch. Too much for you, son? No. Gosh, though, I, I hate to see anybody hurt that much. Bombs. Hey, hmm? What is it, Jerry? Look. Well, where? At Decker. Look, can't you see? Hmm? Well, what do you mean, son? What are you talking about? At Decker, he... Wait a minute. Well, well, what have you got there? This picture. See? The one of Uncle Dan that Patsy's father sent. I I've been carrying it in my inside pocket, see? Oh, yes, but I don't know why you're so excited. But, Bumps, he's he just like my uncle. What? You mean that? Decker. Decker looks exactly like my Uncle Dan now that they've cut off his beard. Can't you see it? Here, here. Let me have another look. Well, well Jerry, I, I do believe you're right. Oh, no, 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 this is silly. He can't... He is my it. uncle. I know he is. He... Not so loud, son. But, he, but he's my uncle, I tell yeah, you. Take the boy outside. Hey, never mind, Doctor. I'll take him. I'm sorry this happened. You, you can see the boy is upset. It's all right. No harm, Doctor. But I'll see you before I go, Doctor. Now, come along, come along. I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe here, it. Here. No, no, take it easy, sir. But why should he use another name? Why, why shouldn't he recognize me when I joined the circus? He, he did act kind of funny when he heard my name, but... But not as if he knew me. Oh, here, you must get hold of yourself, Jerry. But my own uncle, a criminal. Oh, Bumps, I, I can't believe it. Something's wrong someplace. Now, Jerry, here, you, you must be quiet. Now, listen, son. We'll come back here tomorrow as soon as Decker regains consciousness, huh? And if he's your uncle, we'll find out what it's all about. <laughs>